Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Adventures of Tarty Penis. Oh, why did my battle buffs activate? Uh oh. Does someone okay, just werewolves oh, again? Oh my god. I just. <laughs> dude, I can't catch a break. Okay. Dang it, I cussed in the first 30 seconds of the video. <laughs> I'll have to bleep that out. Uh, okay. <sighs> Rude as hell. I don't know why there were... Who are you? Well, hey, that's not something you see every day. Yeah, clearly. Um, okay, I was trying to just start the video, but, uh, uh, yeah, interrupted. A little bit of a recap. Uh, last time we saw the Greybeards, and... Apparently, that is where my memory of the main quest stops because I do not remember having to go get the horn and having it stolen and having it given back and yada, yada, yada. So this is all new for me, apparently. Hi, Serana. Yes, I'm here. I'm talking directly to you. Isn't that crazy? Uh, it's actually nighttime. We should. Ooh, dang. I didn't know they had two big moons. Uh, let's actually wait until daytime here. Just because I don't like playing at night, even though the sky is so beautiful. But, yeah, we're going to be... Uh, we're going to be continuing on with the quest here. I don't know if we should go to High Hothrogard first. Or if we should go to... I lost it already. <laughs> Where was the other place we should go to? Uh, Okay. Immediate. Oh, there it is. There it is. I found it. I found it. Kynes Grove. We gotta go there. I think we go back to the Greybeards first. <laughs> oh, damn it. Excuse me. <laughs> this video started way downhill. It's only up from here, I promise. Okay. We're back here. We're gonna go here first and give them the, uh, the horn. I don't know what'll happen if we get to if we have to like choose between the two, but they seem like separate quests. So I don't think it's a problem. I think we go here, we get a little more powerful from whatever they give us. And then I think after that we go and help little old lady who stole the thing. Uh. You've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Runko. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. Excellent. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Okay. You are ready to learn the final word of unrelenting force. Da, which means push. Da. <gasps> Duh. Where is it? I can't even read that, my guy. Together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Actually, Wood probably not going to be using it at all. So, Lamau. Oh, yeah, okay. I forgot they give it to us for free. Damn, dude, that hurt you so bad. We would speak to you. Okay. Stand between us and prepare yourself. You can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. Cool. Wanathan, get out of the way. I don't want you hurt, buddy. Cool. Whoa! I'm getting a headache. Oh. Are you done? Nope. Okay. Dover King, you have tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. Hi, Hrothgar is open to you. Okay, cool. I guess we're done here. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 
we're done. <laughs> Is there actually anything to do here? There's some books. Do I need said books? Acolyte of the Voice. Okay, so there is more to do here. I was about to say. Ooh. Actually need this one. Ooh, I need this one too. Are these all scrolls? No. They're fake. Okay. Wow. Quite a few books for the museum, it seems. Very cool. I'll take these fake scrolls. Or the real ones, I guess. Anything else here? There's a big... Dude, imagine... Imagine just having this as your fucking dinner table, bro. Like, how rad would that be? Damn. I'd eat at the dinner table all day, every day, bro. I wouldn't eat in my room like a sad sack of shit. Nah, no, just kidding. <laughs> uh... I hope someone's eating in their room watching this right now. Just to feel how I feel. Uh, any more bo Damn, there are a couple, couple more books here that I haven't seen. Okay, I think that's good. I don't think we really- Wanathan, excuse you. Uh, okay. Let us check out the other side. Now, is the Acolyte of the Voice, what what exactly do I have to do for that? Just explore the library. Well, I'm exploring the kitchen currently, so you're going to have to give me a minute to find where the library is. Oh, excuse me, Wanathan. Got to jump right over you. This is where you sleep, bro? This huge fucking mansion? Oh. And these are your beds in these tiny corridors next to the kitchen? That sucks. Are these? Speech increase. Cool. Epic. Could always use more speech. It's funny because in these games, I typically, uh, I typically like max out my speech as like the first thing I max, you know? Not in Skyrim. Skyrim, it's. A, not that important, because there's not really, uh, okay, you scare me. Uh, there's not really that many big dialogue options like there is in Fallout. Or at least I don't think there is. I've never, I've never encountered, like, uh, I've never encountered a lot of speech checks now that I think about it. I don't really think that there has been anything like that so far um for now we're gonna hold off on the voice we're gonna go locate the dragon burial site here we're meeting her here and then we're traveling south is that what she said i can't remember but yeah back to my point of i just think speech as oh my god there's a chicken uh it just got fucking blurry i don't think speech in this game is as important there aren't, it's not as important as it is in Fallout, where it's like you can convince Pete, the main Rather bad guy to kill themselves. Down. I'll give you that. Okay, who are you and what do you want? I was asked to find you as soon as possible. If you ask me, this problem sounds urgent. You'd best head on over to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. Speak to Lurius Lior. He mentioned something about trouble with the dragon. And the promise of a generous reward sounds tempting. If I were you, I'd best not keep him waiting. No, I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. What? Why did it turn me around? Jonathan, why are you so close? <laughs> Serana, don't look into it. Um. Okay. Was that a separate quest? Oh, Worm's Tooth. Okay, cool how we start that uh we'll definitely be doing that next i think for now we are gonna help her with the dragon burial site uh holy fucking what oh 
I'm sorry? <laughs> this dude just spawned and died on top of me. Man, this episode's crazy. Oh, well, I think the dragon's back. Can't, can't be positive. Hmm. I wonder. Uh, how do we actually get over there? <laughs> Which, uh, is, is there a... God, this fucking fog. Is there a way through? I don't know. Uh, you'd think it'd be that dragon logo over there, but it seems not to be. We're just gonna go through the forest then, I guess. Oh, this looks like a road. Okay, good enough. I'm gonna have to kill said dragon. Should I maybe save my game before I get absolutely fucking wrecked? Uh, yes. The answer is yes. Is this harvestable creep cluster? Interesting. And this is back. Why? I've really got to look up that shout, bro. That clear sky shout. I also got to look up who told me about that because I'm going to have to give him a kiss. I'm going to have to hold him down and kiss him. You are fucking me right now, bro. Is this like scripted? Because that's not fair. Visibility is none right now. Can't see a goddamn thing. And they expect me to fight a dragon? Oh, hello. I found you. Stay undercover. This is what we came for. You need to see what happens. I can't see a fucking thing. Steady. I don't know what's happening. I don't either. Wait. This is worse than I thought. Is it? It's worse than I thought, that's for sure. I can kind of see a form. Should I just... Fuck, this is scary now. Like, now that the wind's talking, it's like... This is actually kind of spooky. I don't like this. I didn't do shit. Okay. Who's there? Okay, okay. Okay, so. Oh, fuck. Okay, at least it's cleared up a bit. They're not gonna completely fuck me. Unless. I don't know. Let's see how this. You are a lower level than me, but you're also taking a fuck ton of damage here. We're just gonna poke you in the ass for a bit. Okay, now you're just gonna run away. And I, ah, oh, I couldn't. Fireball's too slow. Hello, sir. <laughs> it's just he just slid into the ground. What was that? I did do it. You're acting like I'm not the fucking Dova kid and that's not established already. Let me just suck the soul out of this dragon. Are you fucking serious? You better be. I'm gonna take everything. Actually, I don't need that steel axe. What the fuck? Was it steel? No, it was not. Did I spell steel wrong? <laughs> oh my god, this is embarrassing. Yep, I sure did. Come on. Drop it. You really are dragonborn. No shit, Sherlock. I owe you some answers, don't I? Go ahead. Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. Uh, who are you and what? 
What do you want with me? I'm one of the last members of the Blades. Oh, no shit. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Hmm. Okay. What do you know about the dragons coming back? Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. <laughs> okay. Don't have to be a racist about it. Let's calm down. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I've seen that dragon before, the one that got away. Really? Where? Uh, his animation fucked up and it scared the shit out of me. I made it for TikTok. You should follow me on TikTok. Uh, <laughs> it was the one that attacked Helgen and Ulfric escaped the Imperials. When Ulfric escaped, escaped the Imperials. Jesus Christ. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. Probably that dragon if I had to harbor a guess. Uh, the Blades, who are they? Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name. I days. remember. We used to I be played known Elder Scrolls IV. As the protectors of the Septim Emperors. Those oh, had cool katanas. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next Dragonborn to guide and guard, as we are sworn to do. But we never found one. Until now. Uh, what's our next move? The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Remind me who are the Thalmor? What makes you think the Thalmor behind bring dragons back? Uh, why are the Thalmor after you? Why do you think the Thalmor are behind it? Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? You know what? Fair. Um, just give me the rundown on them. The faction that rules the Aldmeri Dominion. The ones who almost destroyed the Empire during the Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in Tamriel. The Empire barely survived the last war. The Thalmor don't intend to lose the next one. Okay, why are they after you? Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Our Grand Master saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. We were wrong. Interesting. So we need to find out what the dragons know about the... What the <laughs> dragons know about the Thalmor. <laughs> Any ideas? If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy... The Dragon Embassy, yeah. It's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. Uh, so how do we get into the Dragon Embassy? Mm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Okay, cool. A blade in the dark. I got a secret door key. And some XP. Well, cool. We saved the world for now uh i think we hold off <laughs> on saving any more worlds i kind of want to check this out we go to the bannered mare in white run uh we can go to the no we want to go to the shrine of talos that's the closest place i guess Okay, another pretty sky. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> just popped on, even got prettier, bro. Cool. Uh, this is actually nice lighting, so I don't mind it. Uh, let's go. Oh, no, the Bannerman's closed, eh? 
Is it? Isn't it closed? No, it's not. Am I stupid? Why did I think it closed? Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. It's okay. I am looking for someone very specific. This guy right here. I'm actually going to sit in the chair next to him. For a little bit of RP. Hello, Loris Laurel. And killed it. Ah, you made it. What's the I was beginning to think you were never going to show up. Okay, Serana. <laughs> just sits at a different table and stares over at me. Like, you couldn't pull up a chair, bitch? Calm down. I received your message. It sounds like you're having trouble with a dragon. Uh, I had a few stops to make first. You know how it is. Uh, I, I received your message. Indeed I am. Heard you might be the person to speak to when it comes to dealing with these sorts of things. Literally the only the one. The problem is straightforward enough, I suppose. A dragon has been attacking trade shipments throughout the holds. Perhaps you've seen the carriages burning by the roadside during your travels. I have, the actually. The soldiers have already been sent after it, obviously to no success. And we need a solution before this problem gets out of hand. Oh, but where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Lorius Leor, and I'm with the East Empire Company. Lorius Leor? Why is the East Empire Company getting involved? Because it's our trade shipments that are being destroyed by that dragon. Fair enough. Supplies in the holds are dwindling as it is. No thanks to that Stormcloak uprising and the Sadia, subsequent rise in banditry. Yes, mum. So we've been cooperating with the Jarls to pool our resources together towards funding a solution. A collective bounty of 10,000 gold has been placed on this dragon to pique the interest of skilled mercenaries. I'm interested. Uh, what kind of plan do you have in mind? From those that answered the call, I have personally chosen four highly proficient mercenaries. And I want you to lead them into battle. Their skills and backgrounds are diverse because we need to be ready for any challenge that we may be faced with. You got the tech guy. You got the explosives guy. You got the sneaky bitch. You got uh, the ringleader. Why hire mercenaries? This is no ordinary dragon we're dealing with. It walks on two feet. It has proven to be very calculating in its attacks, specifically targeting our trade shipments to slowly starve Skyrim from the inside out. Oh, that's actually interesting. Every battle our soldiers have had with it, we've been caught at a disadvantage. It may have a motive that we don't yet understand, and I don't want to risk throwing more Imperial soldiers at it in vain. The team I've assembled have been tracking the dragon from its last known sighting near Falkreath. By now, they should know where it's going. And if we're lucky, we might even be able to take it by surprise this time. That's where you'll come in. Okay. Who are these mercenaries? There's Aether, a Redguard warrior from Hammerfell. He used to be Alakir until he took up mercenary work. Danelit, a Bosma archer, and the most skilled sharpshooter. I forgot about the sharpshooter. She was recently incarcerated in solitude for petty theft. A okay. Crime against the fame, from <laughs> what I hear. I had to pull a few strings with Jarl Elisif to have her released to us. Shargam, an orc berserker from Nazalbur, with the strength of at least three of his kind. And Elmira, an Ultima mage with some unhealthy fixations. But highly skilled in the arcane arts, nonetheless. I don't like that unhealthy fixations part. What is he, like a fucking... Is he a pervert? Uh, <laughs> where can I find I'll them? Mark the rendezvous point on your map. When you get there, speak to Aether. If he's done his job, then he should know by now where that dragon has been roosting. If we're lucky, we might be able to catch that dragon by surprise and put an end to the trouble it's been causing. I wish you the best of luck, Dragonborn. I'll be waiting here for your return. You want a drink? Godspeed, Dragonborn. Mm -hmm. No? Thank you? Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, and he, he just, he's gone? No, he's right here. <laughs> he just moved seats. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, let's go to the rendezvous point. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he disappeared like Batman. God damn, dude. No, he just moved over a seat. You okay? You good? 
You having a little dance? A little jig? Maybe you're just a patron. Uh, let's go here. Let's go here. Meet up here. Ah. Near Pine's Watch. Somewhere I haven't been, actually. I mean, I've been to Pine's Watch. It's near there. Okay. I wonder if it's even near anything. It's very dark in this forest, surprisingly so. The pleasure was all mine. Who are y'all killing? Okay, just a mage in the forest. Very cool. Anything you need? Okay. Oh. So, you're the one Lorius asked us to wait for. You're this dragonborn people have been talking about. Yes, sir. Well, if Lorius trusts you, then I guess we have no choice. I'm Aether, and this is our little ragtag group assembled by the Empire's coin. I wish we could have all met sliding down the mountain together, but I'm afraid we're a little short on time. Good that you arrived when you did. We've been following recent sightings of the dragon in Falkreath Hold. It hasn't attacked Falkreath directly, but its presence is straining trade. Supply shipments through the region have ground to a halt. Seems Who the like fuck are you? This dragon has a bit of a penchant for them. You a summon? Why? Can't say for sure. It would make more sense for the beast to hit major population centers. But who knows what their true intentions are. Uh, Lurius told me you may know where it's roosting. The last witness I spoke to said the dragon had been returning to the same spot in the mountains southeast of Falkreath over the past few days. Ancient's ascent is likely where it's roosting now, but who knows for how long. I suggest we head there immediately. We may be able to catch it by surprise. With you on our side, we might just have a chance of pulling this off. Now come on, we need to move quickly. Okay, I'm down. Let's go. Oh, that way. I thought I was to lead into battle. Get behind me. Thank you. Actually, can I fast travel there? Where the hell is this? Okay, you know what? I'm actually just going to follow these guys because I don't know where I'm going. Uh, I will cut back in. Anything interesting happens or when we get there. There's dogs. I'm just warming up. Okay. Never mind then. Is this it? Is this the cave? It seems so. What is this? Oh, to Bone Chill Passage. I could have just fast traveled here. Why was the? Oh, the marker was a different place on the map. I thought. I thought it wasn't Bone Chill Passage, but maybe we have to go through Bone Chill Passage in order to get to where we're going. Hello. Everybody back off. I have really big AOEs. Who is this guy? Bandit Warrior? Okay. Maybe we do just have to go through Bone Chill Pass. Okay, well, I cleared it out, so <laughs> everything's good here. Yeah, it looks like we just had to go through it. Okay. Ah, I guess the dragon symbol is where we have to go. Hello? Okay. Okay. Just one hit KO. That's cool. Good night. Good luck, everyone. Have a good fight. Kendav Balan Fukain. Finally, warriors worthy of combat walk before me. I was beginning to think your champions were all cowards, Kaizal. <laughs> Ron is just gonna overlook me. Varuki Togat Kronga Dovakin. This one surprises me with its Dova Sos. I have heard rumors. Maybe 
You are worthy of my Narok near Gold. It has been a grave for lesser mortals. In your tongue, they call it Worm's Tooth. To the Dove, it is the Brumlock Strunma. Seek it, Yagol's Walan, and you shall have the battle you seek. Okay. You gonna let me go now? Damn it. I can't believe the beast just slipped through our fingers. This isn't gonna go down well with Lorius. Serana Stamps dancing. That. Stop dancing. <laughs> it seemed to know we were coming. You're right. It was probably watching our movements this whole time. It was foolish to think we could just corner it like a wild beast. Seems like the dragon wants us to pursue it to Worm's Tooth. I'm beginning to see why Lurius is involved in this dragon hunt. I'm sure he can explain it better than I can. But for now, we should return to the Bannered Mare and let him know what transpired. Okay. Well, it's around to stop. Uh, that was worthless. Is there a thing to learn here? Hello? Are you going to attack me? Hold on. Let me search this chest real quick. No. Cool. Cool. Dwarven mail I don't need. Oh, I do have that new armor that I forgot to fucking wear. Uh, do I have it on me? Yeah, the champion's armor. I should go enchant that. Anything here? What is this one? Out of all these things, this one has power. Animal Allegiance! Interesting. Did not know that. Uh, was there a word of power at the other place? No, right? Oh, shit. There might have been. There might have been a word of power at the other place that I just didn't get. Uh, well, let's actually just fast travel back there and see, and then we'll head to the Ben and Mare. <laughs> Was there... I don't... It doesn't look like it. I think it's just a big Yamcha hole. Where Yamcha was hurt. In here, is there anything? Okay, this is an actual dungeon. There might be one in there. Hmm. Okay. Let us head back to... Uh... The Bannered Mayor. Talk to this man. Here we are. I don't know where this man went. He's supposed to be here shouting, you know, but... Spouting some bullshit, but he doesn't seem to be here. I don't know where he could have been. Where he could have gone. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Okay. He's back here working. You work here now? Oh. What the fuck? Hello? Why did I hug you? If I'm getting paid to talk to you, then I'll be more than happy to do so. Until then, stop bothering me. Okay, tell me about yourself. Look, I'm just a courier. I work for Lurius Lior, and he works for the East Empire Company. If you need more information, then I suggest you speak to him. Okay, cool. Well, calls. you kind of spawned in front of me and hugged me for some reason. Hello, I'm back. I was beginning to think you may never return. I trust you bring good news. Absolutely not. Unfortunately not. It was expecting us and managed to slip away. I see. Were you at least able to find anything out about why it was attacking our trade shipments? The attacks were a ruse. It aims to lure us to an island called Worm's Tooth. Worm's Tooth? Then it seems that once again that dragon has slipped out of my grasp. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. I manage Stone Hollow, an East Empire Company mining settlement. It's located on the island of Worm's Tooth, to the north of Solitude and the Sea of Ghosts. Our particular dragon was first sighted near the mining settlement, but it never attacked us directly. Not one to let a potential problem fester, I brought it to the attention of the Empire, and a legion was dispatched to deal with it. Sadly, they proved to be no match for that dragon. So what happened next? 
all accounts suggest it headed south to mainland Skyrim. Shortly thereafter, I began hearing reports of East Empire Company trade shipments being burned, with surviving witnesses all describing the same dragon. So I traveled south in pursuit of it, hoping to find a way to put an end to the problem before it had a chance to return. I convinced the East Empire Company to work together with the Jarls to raise a bounty on that dragon, and sent Theodin, my courier, to track down the one person that might give us an edge over the beast. You. Well, he kind of... <laughs> uh, kind of paralyzed me, and I wasn't able to do anything. Sounds like we'll be walking into a trap. My thoughts exactly. But considering what's at stake, that's a risk we'll need to take. We need to pursue this dragon. Indeed we do. We can't risk this happening again if we let it get away. I'll have a ship ready at the docks in Solitude. Meet me there and we'll set sail for Worm's Tooth. I shouldn't need to remind you that we won't know what to expect when we arrive. So you should stock up on whatever supplies you need before we depart. And don't forget, that 10,000 gold bounty is still up for grabs should we actually manage to pull this off. Okay, why is everyone spawning hey, in this it. corner? Watch going. You watch it! A fuck fugitive? Argonian. Elf? What the fuck? Why are we just calling each other by race? And what the fuck is everyone doing in here? Okay, this is too much. Um, so... Arrow of the Worm. I thought he said he was it was on the docks of solitude. In fact, forget the venison. Oh, he's going there right now. I have to wait for him to go. Okay. Well, in that case, while I'm here, I think I'm going to go to the palace here and do some enchanting of my armor. Uh, I don't think I need... Because what what do I have on my armor right now? Oh, yeah, it's the fucking... The Nightingale shit. That's all fucking cool and whatnot. Um, I need the boots for Moonshoes. What are my Moonshoes right now? What are uh, Moonshoes, Moonshoes? 34. Whereas these are 84. So I will definitely be making... Better moon shoes. And I don't know what enchantment I'd want to put on the armor. I'd have to scroll through and look. But if there's something that does, you know, magicka regeneration or max magicka, that could be good. Uh, it's light armor, so it's probably going to have those things available to it. We just don't know yet. Um, what else could be good? I don't really need the X XP bonus anymore now that we're over level 50. Pretty, pretty okay with that. Are you asleep in here? Wake up. I got shit. Why you, okay, put on some clothes. Uh, do, 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 do. Can you enchant some equipment for something? me? Okay, I was about to say. Oh, oh, these are okay. Okay, here we go. Champion's armor. Uh, what is this ring of corruption? Can I? Can I actually, uh, want to destroy this artifact and learn its effects? Sure. Okay. What is this? Why do I even have this on me? Do I have this on? I'm pretty sure I have it on me. I don't know why. Uh, anyway. Oh, I've got some shit to put up, apparently. Oh, yeah, let's do the bow, too. We can do the bow, and we want to do... What is that shit called? Fire damage lingering. And we make it hella good. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. And then the soul gem we can do. I mean, we've got tons of grand soul gems. We can rename the item. 
Oh, no. No, 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 no. F to rename. What do we want to call our new bow here? Uh, give me a second. Perfect. The bow of cheese. <laughs> really all I'm using it for. Uh, okay. Oh, son of a bitch. That's what I meant to do. I meant hit enter. Okay, and it auto caps everything. Cool. Let's craft this bitch. Absolutely. Now we want... Oh, I can enchant this. What would I put on this? Same thing? Karma. Okay. Uh, ooh, we could put paralysis on it. Oh, never mind. 25% chance to paralyze creatures and people up to level four. Never mind. Uh, that's fine. We, we could do some poison damage. No, I feel like if we do poison damage, we might as well just do the freaking lingering fire damage. Yeah, we'll do the, the lingering fire damage here. We'll go four points. Fill it with a grand soul gem. Uh, I think we'll keep the name because it's cool. The uh, the name's fine for me, even though it's not uh, perfect. Uh, let's go with the legendary armor here. Area restore health. Heal living allies for ten feet for ten points. That's cool. Cheat death would be cool. A five percent less damage from all attacks on your health. Okay, never mind. That's not good. Uh. Let's see. Let's actually take a look at... There's magic regen. 13%'s not that good. Does that... Okay, 32% is, is better. That's better. Halt. Combat staggers enemies that approach to 14 feet. That's cool. Horsemanship. Take 25% less damage. Uh, and deal 25% while riding a mount. I didn't even know you could attack while riding a mount. Interesting. Uh, magic find? No, we don't need that. Magnet. Uh, pulls people closer to you. Philosopher's Stone? Oh, that's weird. I think I have that on something. Siphon Health? Based on level from enemies within 12 feet. I wonder what that means. Siphon health would be pretty cool. I wonder what... Uh, specifically... That does. Let me give it a quick Google real quick. Okay, uh, it seems to do a little bit. I I think I will take that and then put a Grand Soul Gem on it. From enemies specifically. Okay, cool. I was just like, this isn't going to just kill my allies, is it? And then we'll keep the Champion's Armor uh, name. We will go here, we'll get the boots, and then we'll go... Not, oh yeah, cushion, negate all fall damage. And yeah, and then we'll do the champion's boots there. Okay, now is the waiting game. Let's wait 24 hours. Let's wait a couple of days and then see if it's ready then. I don't, I think, I'm pretty sure I'll have the money for this. I have like 100k, don't I? I don't want to be <laughs> craftsman notice, so that's Come good. Dragon's reach to discuss the ongoing. Got my order? Hmm? My ID's ready? Of course. Okay, cool. Okay, these are quite expensive, but yeah, I have a ton of gold. Uh, let's see. The armor, three grand. Not bad. Boots, two grand. The bow, not bad. And the sword, not bad. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We have a completely new loadout. 
Look at that armor rating, 321, bro. God damn. Let's go, dude. Uh, we're going to retire the moon shoes. We're going to put these on our favorites just to have them there. Uh, we will also... Oh, I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't even like the nightingale armor. But I can put it in the museum now. Good. Um... We now have the glass bow, the bow of cheese, which is where bow of cheese, which means we no longer need this one. It says 20, it's 13. not a huge upgrade, but still I like the glass bow look, which is more important than, you know, what I want. Penis poker, sir, it's been an honor. It has truly been an honor. But we have <laughs> quite the upgrade from 45 to 102. Not bad. Now we go here. We go to, let's just go straight weapons. I want this one on one. I want this one on four. I think that's it. Because I have elemental on two, fast sailing on three. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Well, we upgraded. We started Worm's Tooth. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. I'm free. Yeah. Oh, we've. Oh, and it's got the fucking cool thunder charge. I forgot. I forgot about that. How do I use that exactly? Oh, that's my Z, right? Uh, I don't think so. A presence. You know what? You're not worth the hassle. Go. Be some other guard's problem. Thank you. Uh, that was my bad. I know. Wanathan's looking at me all fucking Sorry. pissed. Um, that was my bad. I... <laughs> forgot uh but yeah and then let's check out the glass bow here i forgot we had the big ass arrows oh very cool very cool okay uh so that's good next time I want to do a couple of things. I think I'm going to look up that clear sky shout and go get that. I think next time before we head to the docks here and go off onto our journey up north to Worm's Tooth, which is pretty cool. Not going to lie. But yeah, I'll call it there. Uh, let me get a good view of the moose. I like them. Is that a moose? Or is that a big deer? I can't even tell. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>